here, Hoops Junction. Tonight, we witnessed the streak of the Golden State Warriors being ended by the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Milwaukee Bucks, they did an excellent job sticking to their formula in order to end the streak. It's kind of fitting because the Milwaukee Bucks in 1971-72 season ended the Lakers' 33-game winning streak, which is the NBA all-time history's leading streak. So, first of all, I want to start off by thanking the Golden State Warriors for making the season exciting with such a great streak dating back from last year, winning 28th Street, setting the second longest winning streak in basketball history. It was incredible to watch, incredible to follow. It gave us all something to watch. It, gave, it was really great TV, entertaining basketball. And not just entertaining basketball, but great basketball. Every night we witnessed the, the best of the best being played. I mean, really it elevated not only the Warriors game, like from Stephen Curry to Draymond Green, but it also elevated their opponents. Like every night we were, get, we were watching people go at the Warriors with their best shot. And that's what basketball is all about. You know, I'm tired of people saying that this regular season doesn't matter. You know, they should shorten up the season. No, and this is the reason why they shouldn't because of great things like this. So tonight, basically, the Milwaukee Bucks, they pretty much outplayed the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors were on a um, seven-game seven, uh, road trip, and pretty much they gave out of gas. They came up from a back-to-back -back OT game and didn't have anything. I mean, the Bucks shot uh, 50%, almost 50% from the 49% from the field, 42% from three, and 77% uh, from the free throw line. And if you compare that to the Warriors, the Warriors shot 23% from the three. They took 26 threes, which is uncharacteristic. I mean, they shoot a lot of threes, but they only went six for 26, which isn't good. You're not going to win a lot of games. And they only shot 40% from the field. They missed a ton of free throws. And one thing I have to point out through all of this, Clay Thompson, I don't know if it's from the finals. I don't know what it is, but he's, he's not the same. And I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's because he gets in foul trouble. I don't know if it's because of his ankle. He's not the same since last year. He's not the same 33 points in a quarter Clay Thompson that we all know and love. But that's all right. Pretty much, I just want to, once again, congratulate the Bucks for stopping the streak. You know, you go down to history again. It was a very entertaining game. It was full of energy, which is what the regular season requires. It needs energy. You know, we don't need to hear people say that we need to shorten the season because these games don't matter. They all matter. And as we can see, this game tonight, it mattered, and they went for it. As far as the Warriors, I'm glad they did uh, two things. One thing they did was they played excellent basketball, which is... You know, some people go on a streak, and it's just like they just know they're better than the other team, so they won't play the game the right way. And they did not do that. They played the game the right way. They shared the ball, and they showed what ball movement could do. Number two, they weren't afraid to say that they were going for the streak. And that's what I love. I'm tired of people being modest and timid as to what what's the certain things that they're going for. You know, like, I guess, I guess they all read the 48 Laws of Power, and it says, conceal your intentions. But it also said to never be timid. Always enter into action being bold. And the Warriors were bold about their intentions. They wanted to get to the 33 winning game winning streak. They wanted to set records. They, that's what they want to do. They want to get better. They want to win back-to-back -back championships. You know, they don't need to be modest. You know, and I'm tired of people wanting them to be modest. You know, if you're winning... If you're if you're the best in the game, it's okay to to say certain things that you want to do. It's okay to act on certain things that you want to do. It's okay because you earned it. It's that's the confidence that you boosted that you've earned and that you're just boosting you up. And it's quite all right. So I want I want to thank them again for doing those two things: playing great basketball, making everybody's basketball that they played against just elevate. I mean because it's it's sort of like. If you, if you were to collaborate with somebody who's a genius in their field, that just makes you want to just go that much harder, you know? Or it's like if you're working with a personal trainer 
and you see that your personal trainer, he's ripped and he's cut up or she's ripped and she's cut up and you're not, that makes you want to work harder because you see what they achieved. So you want to get that. So with that being said, the Warriors did that for every single team that they played throughout throughout the um, their winning streak. And it, it was great basketball, you know. Um, now all that, I mean, now that that streak is out the way, they can focus on, you know, doing what they have to do. You know, it really is is very grueling for them. I, you can see even in that Boston game the night before that they were so tired. I mean, they had no legs underneath them. I'm I'm surprised they walked out of there with a win. It was it was crazy, but I just love the fact that they played great basketball. They showed us. They showed you how to do this. You know, like Jay Z has a song called "I Show You How to Do This," son. Like they showed everybody how to do it in the NBA, which was through ball movement, player movement, passing the ball. I mean, it was inevitable the streak was going to end. We we all knew it was going to end at some point, but it was just great. It's a great ride. Like when the Miami Heat did it in the 2012-2013 season, that was a wonderful ride. I mean, every game they played was jam-packed, full of energy. It's the same thing with Golden State Warriors. And that's, that's, that's the competition that needs to always remain in the NBA. People going for streets. People going for, you know, if there's a record. People need to try to break records. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Kobe scored at 81 points, that, that infused life into the game. And the game always needs life. And that's what the Warriors did. You know, congratulations to the Bucks for beating them. But congratulations to the Golden State Warriors for showing, for, for giving us such a great ride. 28-game winning streak. Second all-time NBA history. I mean, you already set, you already, you set in records with Stephen Curry knocking down threes you have Draymond Green which Draymond Green is one of the most underrated players I think if they were to redo a top 20 in the NBA he has to be up there hands down he's very very underrated he's very 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 underrated that guy he has he has the heart of a champ he has the heart of a lion you know what I'm saying he he's like a honey badger he's fearless and I love it I love it so Congratulations to the Warriors, congratulations to the Bucks for ending the streak. And now we continue the journey. Will they when they will they win back to back championships? Will Curry set an all time record for threes? Will Clay Thompson get his game back? Because I mean tonight he only had twelve points. He's just only he's he's been having all these bad games besides that thirty three point game the other night in Indiana. He's just having bad games. I don't get it. I don't know, maybe his girlfriend pissing him off. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Vladimir from Hoops Junction, where Hoops meets Hoopla. Check us out on our website, www.hoopsjunction.com, all one word. Like, comment, and subscribe, and take care of yourself. Peace.